Woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you, coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. It's a great time to be alive. We're going to be talking about the crypto markets. We're going to be talking about Luna Classic. We're going to be talking about everything, everything out there that you guys need to learn and know out there. We're seeing that the broader markets right now, they're doing a bit of a dumpity dump ski out there. And we're seeing that most of the crypto markets are down, dee -dee 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 down, down. We're also going to be talking about Elon Musk, huge, huge Elon Musk news out there. So this is pretty cool beans. I love it. You love it. Let's get into it. Also, we're going to be seeing that uh, looks like Doquan's had his uh, digital assets frozen out there and looks like his ASS is going to be in a slammer soon. So we're going to be talking about that and much, much more out there. So if that sounds interesting, get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with OG in the house. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Let's get it, guys. And don't forget to go back and watch all my other videos. This is absolutely not financial advice. You knew that already. So Let's get into it. What is going on with the pre? What is going on with the U.S. markets right now? We're seeing that the U.S. markets are going down, de -de 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 down, down. And one of the things that is pushing up the uh, pushing down the crypto markets is that the DXY is just like it just went insane, insane in the membrane. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, but you know, we are seeing that the stocks have reversed. Uh, after a two uh, two day rally, so for the last two days, we're seeing that the broad markets have gone uppity up up, and that is pretty cool beans in the house. Uh, if we take a look at what's going on in terms of the top ten mentioned uh, cryptocurrencies in the last hour, we're seeing that Bitcoin takes center stage, followed by Ethereum, and our friend, your friend, Luna Classic. We're going to be talking about Luna Classic, some interesting news, and some of the reasons why we're going to be seeing Luna Classic going down, and some of the support levels, and some of the levels that I think we're going to see in the next couple of weeks for Luna Classic, guys. So let's get it right now. We're seeing a Luna Classic XRP Solana. It looks like XRP is rearing up and getting ready to win its case, guys. We got Annabelle, the Debbie Donna Bird house, and get out of there, because she's tagging the markets and you don't want the market to be tanked. So we're seeing that uh, XRP should be winning their case pretty soon. And if that happens, you're going to see XRP go to the moon. And not only that, it is going to be a huge, huge catalyst for cryptocurrency out there. Then Solana, uh, Shiba Inu is in there, BNB, uh, Polygon, and uh, Tether. So like I said, if you're part of the Dogecoin army, what the heck are you guys doing? Because we're not seeing any uh, Tweety tweets out there. And this is this is this is bad news bears, guys. Absolutely bad news bears. We need to absolutely get it. So right now we're seeing the daily on-chain uh, flow. Right now we're seeing 156 million dollars worth of uh, Bitcoin has gone off exchanges. We're seeing Ethereum is also flowing off exchanges like crazy. So that is pretty good. And did you guys know, fun fact, that only 9% of all the available uh, Bitcoin is being held on exchanges and every other single bitty, itty, bitty baby out there is being held by you and me out there. The people with diamond hands, the people with kryptonite hands out there. Do you have kryptonite hands? I do. And you know, what should you be doing during these times? Because I believe that the bottom has been in for Bitcoin. I believe that the crypto bottom has been in and we're going to be seeing huge, beautiful reversals to the upside. So what you should be doing, doing two things. Hodling like a madman, dollar cost averaging, and if you've got dry powder on, on the side, not financial advice, take a slow, slow buy, buy, buy. Let's get it right now. You need it. I need it. So today, I, I, I've been at the office all day, just came back. I'm tired, but I'm bringing you the news, guys. So who doesn't like a nice rounded bottom? I love it. <laughs> this is actually talking about Bitcoin, not, not the other thing. So, so anyone who's thinking about something else. Shame on you, shame on you. So we're seeing that right now, we're seeing a nice rounding bottom on the six hour chart. So typically when you have a nice rounding bottom, you're gonna often see uh, a, a huge breakthrough resistance and we could be seeing a nice pump, to really pump, pump happening for uh, Bitcoin right now. So I'm expecting a nice play to the upside for Bitcoin. What do you guys think? The other thing that's happening, we've seen the fear and greed index is looking pretty good. We have been at 20 for the since last week and yesterday. And now we're seeing that extreme fear has gone up from 20 to 25. So that is actually a, some, some goodness out there. So hopefully this momentum, this sentiment is still pretty negative. You know, once again, this is a contrary indicator as I've, I've talked about time and time again. And uh, when we do see that uh, the fear and greed is an extreme fear, what should you be doing? Buying, not financial advice, but buying guys, it's a great time to be buying. If you take a look at it, heat map, guys. Ah, my right, my 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 retinals are burning out. We're seeing that Bitcoin is down about one percent. We're seeing Ethereum is down two point three one percent, and we're seeing that BNB and most of the cryptocurrency is down. But you can see that our beloved Doge right there is up, guys. 
Who does not love the Doge? And, and you guys can pretty much guess why that's happening. But look at the DXY. What is going on with the DXY? OMG, we just saw that the DXY has pumped up in the last two days. It's gone up like over 1% and we're sitting right now at one, one, uh, around about 11353. And that is not good guys because that's gonna put more downward pressure uh, on, on the Doge, on cryptocurrency. And you know, when, when, when Bitcoin goes down, Doge goes down. Get up, get up, get up, Doge. We need you to get up, guys, because, uh, you know, Dogecoin has been on, like, a, you know, life, life-preserving life mode for quite some time now. But, you know, uh, we've got some really cool news about Dogecoin, and this could uh, continue to send and propel Dogecoin to the mini moon. So we're going to be talking about that as well. So keep on keeping on. If you take a look at uh, uh, Bitcoin on the daily right now, we're still seeing that, you know, Bitcoin did break out here. It's, it bounced out the purple line. And some of the gains that we had yesterday, yesterday we were up about 3.36%. And we're giving back most of those gains and we're down about 2.19%. So we're still up over about 1% from yesterday. So, I mean, it's not too shabby, not too shabby, guys, considering considering that it's okay. But we're not, you know, like I said, the $19,000 level is holding like crazy. So that is good. I'm still, as long as Bitcoin is above $19,000, I'm happy. And I'm not going to be giving a Bitcoin a red card just yet. So I'm still cool. Uh, on the weekly right now, we're seeing that Bitcoin is still looking pretty good. Uh, so far this week, our total gains for Bitcoin has been about about 4.22%. So that's looking good. We got four days and 11 hours left, so that is okay. So what are we seeing right now? So as you guys know, Doge Creator says Musk purchasing Twitter is a win-win. So, you know, Dogecoin creator has just said this, the Dogecoin developer has just said this out there. And I think it's really a great idea, guys. I think this is a win-win. Deleting the platform is a great idea. So Doge surged after Elon Musk announced his revised interest in buying Twitter. It's a done deal, guys. We talked about that, you know, the lawyers basically said to Elon Musk, Look, if you go to court, brother, you're going to lose and it's going to cost you more than $44 billion, So better just bite the bullet and buy the damn thing. So that is pretty good. And his decision has earned the support of one of Dogecoin's creators. So it looks like that, you know, the Dogecoin creators are, are saying this is a great, uh, a great uh, thing to do. I think it's going to be good because, you know, we're going to see that Billy Marcus... Uh, has said that on Twitter, this is going to be cool because we're going to get the Dogecoin tippy jar and that is going to be cool, guys. And if we can get the Dogecoin tippy jar and if Dogecoin is going to be the currency of Twitter, it's going to be huge, guys. This is a huge, huge catalyst. And if we can get OMG Elon Musk to come out and say to say that, uh, you know, we're going to have the SpaceX coming and when we absolutely need, need, need to have a date out there. So Elon Musk, if you're watching this, brother, we need a date. Come on, come on. So, you know, Elon Musk is looking pretty good. This is a win-win, guys. So this is cool beans in the house. So I'm loving it. You're loving it. Uh, if you take a look at Dogecoin right now, you can see that yesterday Dogecoin like pumped like 9.29%. Uh, right now we're down about three, about 4.25%. So we're still up around about 5%. So guys and gals, we all know that if we want the if we want the bulls to take control of uh, Dogecoin, we need to get ourselves above 0683. So right now we're we're closer to that target than we ever have been. But right now we're seeing that you know we're still midway between uh, six six point eight and here. So you know if we continue to go down, we could be back to where we started from after the Elon Musk uh, tweety tweet. Uh, you know, they ask after the Elon Musk uh, confirmation that it's going to be buying Twitter. So what we need right now is we need a lot of you in the Doge Army out there to so start tweeting, start to retweeting, talking about uh, Elon Musk, talking about Dogecoin, talking about the, the, the uh, Twitter acquisition and get some social momentum out there. Because if we take a look at what's going on for the social momentum of Dogecoin right now, we can see that on the monthly basis, it's down 37.9%. It's down 47.1% uh, in terms of engagement. So that is not good, guys. So we need definitely Dogecoin to giddy on up. Also, too, we're seeing that 51% of uh, Dogecoin holders are in the money right now compared to where we were yesterday. So this whole Dogecoin and uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter has had a nice positive pumpage, pumpage, pumpage effect out there. So that is cool beans and all. So I'm loving it. You're loving it. We're seeing right now Dogecoin is up 3.8% right now. We're seeing that the volume, the volume out there is about $1 billion in volume. That's up 474%. Ouch, guys. That is a huge amount of volume. I haven't seen this kind of volume for Doge in such a long time. So there's more interest out there. We need, need more volume. That is pretty cool. And we're seeing that the market cap has risen almost $380 million in the last 24 hours. So this is good, guys. So it looks like Dogecoin on the rise. Dogecoin to the moon. Let's get it, guys. LFG, guys. Dogecoin to the moon. I love it. So as you guys know, 
as I said, Dogecoin explodes 8% on the Elon Musk announcement. So that's cool, guys. Absolutely cool beans. Let's jump into what's going on with the, with the, a lot, the lunk right now. The lunk. So the big news is one of the contributing factors why we're seeing the lunkster out there uh, going down is because we're seeing that, uh, you know, the Korean authorities have frozen over 40 million worth of uh, Dogecoin's assets out there. So it looks like the, uh, it looks like the, you know, Luna Foundation Guard, about $40 million worth of his assets have been frozen by Korean uh, prosecutors. And some of that includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other coins out there. So looks like they're getting serious. So I don't know why. I do not know why Dogecoin is saying nothing to worry about. Well, they just froze, uh, you know, $39.66 million worth of his assets. So there's definitely something going on over there. If you take a look at the Luna Classic, Burning burn out there. We're seeing that right now. We got about 14, 14 billion dollars of burnage out there. Remember that the Binance burn was about 5.6 billion, and that was equal to about 1.8 million dollars. So, and that was about seven days accumulation of uh, the fees out there. So, we're going to be seeing something huge happening uh, in, in the next coming uh, cycle for the uh, Binance uh, fee burn. So, I'm hoping that we could be seeing this coming up to eight billion. 8 billion, 8 billion, 8 billion uh, uh, Luna Classic tokens burn. I think I did say 14 billion. I mean 14 billion Luna Classic tokens, not 14 billion dollars. That would be a huge bonfire out there. I'd love it. You love it. Let me get some of that bonfire on. So right now we're seeing that, uh, you know, if you take a look at what's going on with the Lungster out there, we are seeing right now that we had this upward trending line. We have we have failed to hold that as support. And, you know, some interesting uh, areas of support for me right now is around about 25 and also around about this uh, 29 level. So it looks like the 29 level is just barely holding right now for the Lungster. If we can't hold the, neck, the 29 level, then our next support level is gonna be around about 27. So those are some in, definitely some interesting support zones for me. Uh, we need to keep an eye on, and hopefully we can get a reversal back up to the upside, get past uh, this trend line. So we are seeing that there is a little bit of a, you know, a confluence to the downside here. Uh, and this could actually take us down to this level here. Uh, I'm hoping that we can break back into this confluence area and take us back up. Otherwise, we could be seeing ourselves re retesting the 25, 26 area, guys. So, so far for Luna Classic, it's kind of looking a little bit iffy. I think a lot of people got disappointed. They took profits when it went up to uh, 37 in the house. And we've seen that, you know, since then, since we hit the, since we hit the top of the 3.7, we are seeing that uh, Luna Classic has just kind of descended down almost 20% in a very short period of time, almost in like two days, guys. So that is not good. We definitely need some more uh, pumpage out there. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that the social momentum will still continue. Uh, if you take a look at what's going on uh, with the Luna Classic, we're down about 4.95%. We're seeing the volumes have really slowed down at 442 $443 million, now 40%. We're seeing the market cap as well, as well below uh, 2 billion, and that's also down at 1.8 billion. So things are a little bit dicey right now for Luna Classic. We're also seeing that the social sentiment has uh, gone below the 200%. We're still seeing positiveness of 178% in the last month, 162% in terms of social engagement. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on it. There are some risk factors out there. If you take a look at Shibi Weeby right now, Shibi Weeby has just been going sideways right now. Uh, nothing too much to, to report over there. Guys, if you have your crypto uh, on exchanges or centralized platforms, get your crypto off those freaking platforms. Get them into Harbor Wallet. If you don't own the keys, you don't own the crypto, guys. So that is cool beans. If you take a look at what's going on with Ethereum right now, Ethereum is just broken down below my 1,330 level. And hopefully we get a reversal in uh, coming soon. So overall, we're seeing that the crypto markets are down. We're seeing the broader markets are down. And you know, I'm getting a little bit worried about Luna Classic. One of the reasons is also going down is because of the t of the Doquan rope on a soap boy out there. So that's going to bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy out there. Guys, don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter. I would appreciate it. Uh, right now, we got about 4,752 follows. Follow, follow, follow. I would appreciate it. And don't forget to check out all the links, guys. Get the links below. And don't forget to get the merch, guys. Gear up with OG gear. Get the mug, the mug. Get the mug of love out there. And it's a great time to be alive. I'll absolutely see you in the next one. Be well. Be blessed. I'll see you. Be beautiful. Peace out.